measurement. How many sticky notes will cover the filing cabinet? You don't need to write the word question, but that first top bit that says measurement, how many sticky notes will cover the filing cabinet? Go ahead and make that the title of the next How big is the filing? There's a root word in the word measurement. What's the root word of the word measurement? Cole? Measure. Measure. Go ahead and put a box around the root word measure. What does that mean, measure? What does that mean? Avery, what does that mean? Well, it means like you are checking, like looking at the length of something. Like you are seeing how long it is, how okay. wide it is. Okay, so I'm hearing two words. Avery here, or Avery's talking about where I might be looking at length. Might be looking at width, how wide something is. What else do we know about that word measure? Maya? So Maya, go for it. I heard you say a measuring cup. Interesting. You have to you have to have six. Four four ounces of of water, like hot water. And like you, you like, um, and then you have another measure cup, and you like, and it says like six, six five ounces of eight. Yeah. So I'm hearing some more units of measure. I'm hearing ounces. I'm hearing measuring cups. What else do we know about measure? Bro, what do you know about measuring? Um, that you have to like put some wires up, like you have to be take and use like a measuring cup. You have to fill it to a certain line on your measure mm. to get the right, like, to get the right. Interesting. So, Brogan's thinking about maybe one time he used a measuring cup. Is there a very specific way to fill the measuring yes, cup? Like, mm, yeah. So, you can't just take it and say, scoop, okay, this is one like fourth teaspoon. Like, if you're putting a oh, like little bit of flour, you sure. a teaspoon. Sure. So I'm hearing teaspoons. That might be measuring. Lydia? You can like measure in like time. Ooh, what do you mean by that? Like if you were going to like start something. Lydia? So um, you, if you like want to finish something in like a certain time, you would start it. And then if, and then you could like check the clock and you could see how long that took you. Absolutely. Right? Connor, what do you know about measuring? Um, measuring? So I, I got a new change for real. Uh -huh. And uh, whenever I had to
this every single time we do a word problem, we know what we're counting. It's especially important when we're measuring to know what we're counting. Our original question. I'm going to write down the questions that you have. You do not need to write down this part. You need everything I've written in red, but what I'm going to put in black, you don't need to put down. Does that make sense? All right, if I just say to you, how many sticky notes will cover the filing cabinet? What are some questions you might have for me before you can do that? But what was one question you might have? How big is a filing cabinet and how big are sticky notes? All right, so we've got how big is the filing cabinet? Do you think that might be important to know? Yes. Yes. Why would that be important to know? I completely agree. But someone talk to me other than Bowen because I think he knows. Why might that be important to know how big the filing cabinet is? Jason? Are there different size filing cabinets? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a giant one in my closet, and then I have a mini one over there. Those are going to be two different measurements. It's going to be important to know how big is my filing cabinet. Archer, what's another question I might have? Oh, well, you want to do something with like a separate cabinet than the sticky. Okay, what's your thinking? So if the measurement is the, I mean the, um, filing cabinet was big and we had smaller sticky notes, it would be more sticky notes, but if it, if it was big, with big sticky notes, mm -hmm. it would be less. And, and if it was a tiny filing cabinet with big sticky notes, it would be less. And if it was a tiny, and if it was... How big is the filing cabinet for them? Um, Callie, what's another question? Oh, how big is sticky notes? Yeah, this is building off of what Bowen and Archer said. How big are our sticky notes? Sticky notes is sticky notes is only oh calling sticky notes. Sticky notes come in different sizes, right? We've seen big sticky notes. We've seen little ones. We've seen more rectangular ones, more square ones. Are there any other questions you would need to know before you could do this? <laughs> Cole, what you think? How many sticky notes do you have? No, oh, yeah. Same, same, same. same. And what shape are the sticky notes? Come on, raise your hand, baby. We're going to assume, Cole, we have enough to do this now. But yes, that's a good question, right? If I only have three sticky notes, that's probably going to be really challenging a versed filing cabinet. Maverick, what are you thinking? What else might I need to know? Um, like, how, like, are you going to, um, to be like, um, are the sticky notes going to get smaller? Or is the what? Say that one more time. Like, is the filing cabinet going to get bigger? What do you mean by that? Mm -hmm. Like, maybe like, does there like a new filing cabinet? Well, we're only doing this with one filing cabinet. Okay, are we going to change sticky notes halfway through? Is that what you're asking me? Like change sizes? Okay. Connor, what are you thinking? I'm thinking maybe So we've got what shape sticky notes? That could influence how many we need. Definitely true. Broken, what do you think? How wide is the cabinet? Take a look at that filing cabinet. If you can see the one in the closet, that's fine, or the one it the little one underneath my printer. Did you notice that one side is longer than the other? Yeah. Do you think it might matter if I do the front side versus the side? Yes, because the front will probably be tinier, and then the side. Yeah. Might be 
which side of the filing cabinet are we measuring? This right there. All right, so we have someone who actually answered this question. Now, they did it with a big filing cabinet. I don't have one of these kinds of cabinets. Down in fourth and fifth grade, they don't have closets in their rooms. They have the much bigger filing cabinets. You might have seen them when we walked through the economy store. They're big black. Oh and God. I'm going to show you. He doesn't do the whole thing. We're going to make an estimate. That's okay. We're going to make an estimate based on how much he does as to how many sticky notes it would take to cover the back. So he does the back side of a filing cabinet. So let's take a look at what he's got going on. Before we guess, before we take an estimate, I want you to notice his strategy. Think about what you notice in our video, okay? No, that's not what I said. Okay. Thinking about what you said. Okay, what did we notice? What did we notice? Sally, what did you notice? Um, I noticed that he only did the back. Yep, so that's a really good thing to notice. He only is trying to measure one side of the filing cabinet. He's not going all the way around. That's going to be a different measurement. Right? He was yeah. Awesome. Side. Um, I think he's got, oh, maybe it is the side. Back or side, I'm not sure. Maybe Archer, that. what are you noticing? I noticed that he numbered, he, before he put the sticky notes on, he numbered them. So when he was counting them, he would know which is which. So, so if he lost, lost count, he would, he would know which one. I love that. Archer noticed he did a strategy of numbering the sticky note before he put it on there. Love to see the Me Too signals who thought of that. Emma, what did you notice? I noticed that um, every time you go across, it's 12 sticky notes. Ooh, did you notice that? I'm going to restate what Emma said. She noticed every time he went across, it's 12 sticky notes. How do you think that happened? Or why do you think that happened? Was that his estimate 48? No. He's actually solving this problem. No, he does do the whole thing. But this is just to give you an idea so you can get a better estimate. Avery, why do you think that happened? Or how do you think that happened? Well, that means that the, the, well, the width, I can't say. Okay. The width is twelve. I don't know how large. I don't know how big the sticky notes are, so I can't say. Okay. But it's twelve all the way across. Um, the sticky notes are big enough so it could be twelve across each side because all the sticky notes are the same size. Yeah, Eric. What are you? What are you thinking about that? Um, I'm thinking that maybe it's like in twelve because like. Maybe he didn't need to put that because, like, he knew that, like, maybe he knew that it was going to be in 12, so it's easier to count by a dozen than it is to, like... Oh, I know where you're like, going. Hold on to that thought. We're not there yet, but I can see where you're going. Good connection. Um, is a filing cabinet wiggly? Like, is it bumpy on the sides, or is it got a straight side? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's got a straight side. We don't randomly have one section that goes way farther than the other, or way shorter than the other. It's the same distance the whole way down. So would it make sense 
that it's the same distance all the way down? Yeah. Yeah, that does make sense. We will, but not yet. I will show it to you how many it is. Um, actually, let me go back to the end of that video. I want you in your notebook to make an estimation of how many sticky notes. Make sure you write your number and then your unit. Remember, we're counting in sticky notes. That's different than feet or inches. So if you think it's going to take 50, don't just write down 50, write 50. Or another one. 50 what? Inches. Sticky inches. notes. All right, I'm going to show you. We're going to talk about how do I measure a shape, specifically the inside of a shape. He is measuring that inside of that side filing cabinet. This is the next blank page. How do I measure the inside of a shape? Whole question. When you are measuring a shape, like that filing cabinet, we have to think of two things at once. And you've heard these words before. Yeah. You have to work, sorry, not work, look at the length. All right, we're ready. And width. One. Now, you've talked about things that you can measure that you don't have to do that with. Right? If I'm thinking about measuring how long my foot is, that's only one measurement, how long it is. If I want to think about how long my shoestring is, I'm probably only thinking of one measurement, how long. There are some things, though, like with shapes, we have to think of two measurements, length and width. These are called dimensions. Yeah, you're making me laugh. You've heard that word, dimension. Right. When we're talking about a 2D shape, have you heard that before? A 2D shape? No. Yeah. All right. I bet you've heard of a 3D shape. Yeah. yeah. So a 2D shape. Has two that D stands for dimension. Oh. Guess what dimensions they are? Length and width. And width. It doesn't. We are going to be talking about two D shapes in third grade. We are not two D. We are not two D. You're exactly right, Bowen. We are three D. So that means that we have. Three dimensions, three ways to measure. Please don't talk over me. A 3D shape measures length, width, just like our 2D, and height. I can measure how long I am, how wide I am, and how tall I am. Height. We're not going to be measuring 3D things in third grade. But you are still. I'm not more than 3D. I'm only 3D. 4D. Alright, so once again, no, you already wrote this down. But when you measure something, you have to think of two things at once. You have to think of the length and the width. We already talked about that. So today, we're going to kind of do our own version of the sticky note filing cabinet question, is we want to know how many sticky notes does it take to cover your desk? Now, a couple of things. A couple of things. Go ahead and write this question in your notebook. And we're going to 
qualify this a little bit. We're going to make some parameters, some rules that we're talking about. Now, of our depth, we are only measuring a 2D portion of our depth. Specifically, the top part that you are writing on. Um, we are not measuring the height. So I should not see sticky notes on any of the sides or the legs of our deck. We are only measuring this part. Top four. So the rectangle shape that is the top of your deck, that is what we are Why going to measure. Where? Estimate. Because you need Let's try that again. How's 43? Unit. You need a unit. Make sure you're not just writing down a number. So we are measuring in sticky notes. So you need to write blank sticky notes. You need a, a qualifier. You need a unit. It's not a naked number. You're not measuring in inches. You're measuring with sticky notes. Um, I would say that everyone's desk is the exact same size on top. Would you not? Yeah. I, I believe they are all the same yeah, size, which means if they're all the same size, we should have all gotten the same number of sticky notes, no. right? Yeah. I got yep. So everyone say out loud on the count of three the number that they got. One, two, three. Forty-seven. Ooh. Forty-seven. That didn't sound like this. I don't remember what I got. Number. Hi. So hang on a second. We've got a couple. Cole, sit down. No, he's just sitting down. Thanks. We have I a couple got of different answers. Let's explore what were some of the totals that we got. Raise your hand to tell me the actual number of sticky notes you think it took to cover the top of your desk. I should put lots of hands because that's what I'm asking for. Rogan, what'd you get? Okay, so you didn't finish. Avery, how many did you get? 48. All right, so Avery got 48. Give me me two signals, you also got 48. Okay, so quite a few of you got that. Penelope, what'd you get? 42. 42. Give me me two signals, you also got 42. Of you. Connor, what'd you get? Different I got 50. Nikki, signals anyone else got 50? I got 51. Sally? <laughs> I got uh, 53. I made 43. Oh, 43. Nikki, oh, signals you got 43. I can't, I can't hear Archer. 58. 58. how many did you get? 51. 51. These sticky notes. We're the same size. So how did that happen? Raise your hand. Think about what you noticed as you were doing it, what you noticed as you looked at what other people were doing. How did that happen? How did we get the same desk, the same size sticky note, and have very different answers? Bowen, how did that happen? Because some people overlapped. Oh. Some people had some overlapping sticky notes. Is that a problem? Yes. Yeah. Let's look at something for a second. Um, Saxon, bring me your pad of sticky notes. So we're going to look at what it looks like to measure with two sticky notes side by side versus two sticky notes overlapping. <laughs> All right, so we were supposed to put them side by side, right? And a lot of us did. So this should be the distance of two sticky notes side That's by what side. I did. But some of us did a little overlapping action. What do you notice between those two? different sections. What do we notice between those two? Addison? The overlapping makes it like smaller. Say that again for the friends in the back. The overlapping makes it like smaller. When you overlap it, 
it makes our unit smaller. And then we don't have the same unit because maybe you overlap by a little one time, but then a whole lot the other time. Now, so we have an issue of overlapping. Be honest, did you accidentally overlap? Raise your hand. No, probably. Yeah. I would say probably all of you. Now, we have some other issues. Cole, you noticed some other issues. What were some other issues that you noticed people doing or maybe you did? People left gaps. Oh, people left gaps. So let's look. No, thank you. Let's look at that issue for a second. So they get less. So we're going to say here's our first one, and then here's our second one. So now what do we notice if we're leaving gaps? What do we notice now that we're leaving gaps? Julian, what do you notice? Yeah, there's a hole. We aren't measuring that space now because we don't have a sticky note there. Notice our unit gets way bigger. So if you have any gaps, Paxton, on your desk, if you could see any part of your desk, all right, you did not measure correctly. Now, all of you ran into the same problem, and I saw only one of you attempt to solve it. All of you noticed that your sticky note wouldn't quite fit on the end. Yeah. A lot of you just stuck it on anyway. You have these little flats here. Oh, it's cut it. Or down at the bottom. Is that, uh, is that desk? Sit down. Sit down. Is that sticky note measuring that space if it's hanging off? No. Can I say that this is exactly one sticky note? No. No, it's hanging off. Half of it. It's maybe, note. maybe half. Like a quarter or like 45. Now I did see one person try to solve this problem. Whatever you're doing, knock it off. It's Bowen. It's mine. Bowen tried to solve this problem of there not being enough space. Bowen, what did you do when you noticed that your sticky note wasn't going to fit in that little spot? I measured it in from into so Bowen split apart his sticky note so that it would fit ish. Now he tore it, so it's still got some gaps. We still got some of the other issues, but he recognized, hey, one whole sticky note isn't gonna fit. Now that we see what we did wrong, let's double check and see, did the guy doing it on the filing cabinet, I wonder if he made the same mistakes as us. Let's rewatch that video. Are we going to get to see how many? We will, but not right now. Oh, there's some my desk. I am aware. Thank you for that. We already watched this part. Alright, so let's look. Are there any gaps at the top? No. I saw Addison make her line and then move them. Remember we talked about how you move them? Why See, did you move them once you started putting them on your desk? I moved them because there, like, there was a gap at the top that I made. And it was going like diagonally down so it would... So it would, it would not count as one sticky note. Yeah. So Art's desk is pretty clear since we're right here. He's got that gap at the top. Lots of people did it, Art. You're not the only one. Your desk is just at the front. Oh, oh. We should have moved that so there wasn't that big gap. Because now we counted when we got that whole section. Sit down and stop touching his desk, please. So maybe that's why he got a different number. All right, let's keep going. What else do we notice? All right, do we see any gaps? No. Do we see any overlapping? He's old. No. He's a grandpa. No, he's not. Um, does, so we notice that he's not leaving any gaps, even in between the rows. Now he probably has maybe better sticky notes because they're not sticking out as far. Maybe he has the fully squished down sticky notes. I'm not sure. But that is why 
That is why we had so many different numbers versus having one number, even though everyone had the same size sticky note and everyone had the same size desk. So we just learned some very specific things when measuring. What's one thing that we just learned that we should do when measuring? Think about what we did on our desk. What's one thing we have to do when we measure? Jordan? No gaps. We can't have any gaps. That'll throw off our measuring. What's something else that we need to make sure we do when we're measuring? Quick plan. Lydia? Um, you have to make sure you're not overlapping. No overlapping. What else do we need to make sure that we do? Samaya? You have to make sure that the sticky note is like all the way on something. Yeah. Our unit has to take up all of the space. If it doesn't, we're going to have to do what Bowen did and kind of start making pieces that we can measure with. Yeah, so so Bowen, how many extra pieces did you end up counting? Oh, man. So Bowen counted eight fourths. If four fourths, we already know, is one sticky note. What is eight fourths? He had eight pieces down there. How many whole sticky notes does that end up being? Two. Yeah, it ended up being two whole sticky notes, even though they kind of got chopped up. What did we notice? When you started editing, you started fixing, because we kind of started figuring out our rules, what are some things we had to do? <laughs> Callie, what did you have to do? Uh, I had uh, to move them a little bit, like move them around. Yeah. Give me a Me Too signal if you had to move some sticky notes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maverick, what else did you have to do? I had to cut some of mine. Yeah, we had to start cutting because it wouldn't take up the whole space as one unit. I'm going to have to cut all of them because they're all equal. Yeah. Now we have to make sure that our cuts are equal. We can't just have a random chunk. We have to have a fair piece. Archer, what did you have to start doing? I would have to like move them around to like cut them to make it equal. Yeah. So going back to what you thought our actual Pax and Colby sticky notes were, do you think that your actual is more than that or less than that? Yeah, the same. Sticky notes. Ark, you had to do a lot of rearranging. I looked significantly better. Do you think you're going to have a higher number or a lower number? Higher. Higher number. We've got some more space now, right? We found it. Who else is going to have a higher number? Or I think it's going to be the same. Colby, what happened with yours? Yeah, so you had to move them a little bit. Do you think you could put a whole other sticky note now? Yeah, so your actual is probably going to be a lot more. What we just did is we measured. The type of measurement that we did is called area. Say area. Area. Area is the measurement of space inside of a shape. What shape were we measuring? Raise your hand to tell me. Marley, what shape were we measuring? Nope, your desk is not a square. It's two squares. It's no. also known as a rectangle. We were measuring a rectangle. But a square is a rectangle. And we wanted to. What type of measurement did we do? What type of measurement did we do? Lydia? Area. Area. Paxton, what type of measurement did we do? Area. Julian, what type of measurement did we do? Oh. What type of measurement did we do? Area. You're writing what I'm writing. Don't worry about what I type. Just write what I'm writing. Area is the measurement of the space 
in a shape. Specifically, a 2D shape is what we're talking about. So you're only writing down the part that I just wrote. Ignore the rest of this. This is where we'll pick up on tomorrow. But you're going to need this part for your homework tonight. So go ahead and write it down. Area is the measurement of space inside of a shape. I wrote a 2D shape because when you measure the inside of a 3D shape, that's got a different name. That name is called volume. But we're only using two dimensions, length and width. That is called area. Oh, because they can make sound. 3D shapes are the only thing that can make sound. Not quite. That's just a similar word. All right, let's find out how many sticky notes it took. I bet it will be like 100. All right. Let's find out how many sticky notes actually covers this side of the filing cabinet. About 200. I just read it. It's more than 180. I estimated 200. Miss Miller! I estimated 200. Miss Miller! Looks like 288. I estimated 100. 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 I estim